project that I've won the prize for is the new LSE Centre Buildings, their latest development in their Hoban campus. And it's really a new building for the School of uh, Political Science. And it was a project where really the intention was to bring together a number of departments in a building that would encourage collaboration and dialogue. And our brief was through the architectures to try and engage departments in speaking to each other and then create a student realm, an environment which a sticky campus that brought students to the campus and kept them there to meet and interact with their fellow students. Well, for me, in a sense, architecture is ultimately people. It's we aren't building buildings for the sake of buildings, they're buildings for the sake of people, as is a cityscape is for people. So it has to come from people, whether that's the product in terms of the building or the process of delivering it, which again comes from people putting together and finding a way of collaborating and bringing the best out in each other to deliver the best possible product. So it ultimately it's all about people and our ability to build relationships and communicate with each other and, and get the best out of each other. My role at Rogers Stoke Carbon Partners has changed over the 20 years I've been there. Obviously I started as a graduate and I was made a partner in 2016. So my role and my responsibility, the breadth of my role has changed from being one which was purely about projects to one which is now about projects and practice with a big focus on people and trying to make sure that the practice encourages and creates an environment for people to develop and thrive, uh, set against the backdrop of delivering buildings, which has all its own challenges. Well, obviously the legacy of the practice is huge. It's a practice I always wanted to work for. Richard was always a hugely inspirational character and trying to perhaps root, we have to evolve, the practice has to evolve, our architecture is evolving, but trying to root that evolution in the principles of where we started and keep true to those very human elements whilst maintaining an architecture that is beautiful and fit for now. I think perhaps the era of the star architect may have gone and I think it was a bit of a myth because behind every star architect is an army of people working incredibly hard with great ideas and even that first moment of brilliance comes through dialogue. So even if you are the author of something, it's because of the conversations you've had and the influences, the people that you've met along the way. And those come ultimately out of your interaction with other people. And I think Richard, Graham and Ivan would all be the first to say that those moments of authorship come from a collaborative experience with a wider team. And I guess that is what this award recognises, is that role of that wider team. And I think that's fantastic and possibly log overdue. I think architecture is challenging, male or female. It's such an all-encompassing job and people, you don't take it on lightly. If, you, if you're likely to succeed in it, it's because you're driven and passionate about it, which means it can be all-encompassing. I think as a woman, there are other added challenges, trying to juggle life and family, I have two children and an extraordinarily supportive partner who has made a lot of this possible. But it is always a juggle and you feel like it's a compromise every which way you turn. So trying to find the right balance of the job that is inspiring and the compromises you make in the rest of your life is a lifelong challenge. I doubt we'll ever really feel we've got it right. So the change in the name of the awards I think is very important. It reflects conversations we were having last year. I was involved in judging the awards last year and there was a huge debate about are these awards still needed because we have come such a long way in the time the awards have been running. They are still needed. They're needed to recognise our contribution. I think the fact that it's changed the name recognises the fact that it is less polarised now and the idea that it's also recognising collaboration I think is very important because actually it is never about the individual male or female and so to recognise the wider role that we all bring and how much better it is when we all work together I think is, is huge and utterly appropriate and it's also positive because things have progressed. There's still issues to be addressed but we're in a much better place than we were 10 years ago. For me, winning the MJ Long Prize is fantastic. It's a huge recognition, it's a great honour. There's also poignancy in that my first two weeks of work experience were in MJ's office, by total coincidence. And so it's rather wonderful that wind on 20 plus years, I'm receiving this award. More importantly, I think it helps recognise that it's not always the individuals that are most prominent that are the only ones to recognise. It recognises the awful lot of hard work that goes on behind the scenes. And I hope that by me receiving this award, it also encourages others and helps others realise that their role is recognised. The LSC project is the project it is because of the extraordinary contribution of a number of people in our office and beyond. And in a way, this prize for me also recognises them and their contribution.